Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update from me, Trevor Neal of RRG Research for Wednesday the 14th of June on the day of the Fed rate announcement. We're going to have a look at major stock indices and how they're positioned in front of this long-awaited announcement. We're in a strong bull market here on the Nasdaq rampant bull market and it started right from the beginning of the year off this double or triple bottom low and up we've powered crash through the 13,600 resistance there surging towards the 15,200 resistance here and the move itself is going parabolic the MACD is strong it dipped a bit but then it's come back up a bit again the RSI dipped a bit and has come back up again telling us the market is very strong. So let's just magnify this a little bit. The S&P has, has pushed ahead and is as pre the data release is looking obviously very strong. Therefore expectations are, I suppose that must be expectation for a pause is built into the price. Now there's room for disappointment there in the rhetoric or maybe not a pause. We have got support at 14,686 if it pulls back. If we break through 14,200 then we can drop quite hard and fast down to the significant next support at 13,600. If we continue to power ahead, then the next resistance level for the NASDAQ is at 15,240. The S&P now, also of course very bullish indeed long term, breaking through resistance levels, 4,200 was a big number for it and struggled with it for a bit, but then it burst through, sliced very fast to the next resistance level, which was the August 22 high at 4,321, which is now support for the market. It is pushed ahead from there. The next resistance, which is only minor, is at 4,500. Let's take a closer look at the chart. We can see that expectations are high for a good outcome in the Fed rate announcement. We gapped up and so there's plenty of room for disappointment. The gap is from 4,340 4, up to 4,348. So if we fill the gap, then, then we'll probably come down further. If we edge into the gap and then out of it again, that's very bullish. And then the high of 4,372 will probably be taken out and we will push in on up into this free area up here where it can surge with very little friction. If there is disappointment, we're still in the strong bull market. I doubt it would destroy the bull market. We've got support, that very important longer term support at 4,322. We've got support at 4,260. If that gave way, we could slip back quite fast because we gapped up very swiftly from 4,225 level. There is good support if it fails, if, if the news disappoints, but if it does then it comes back to these levels quite quickly and they're good levels and given the strength of the bull market it should resume. But if it doesn't disappoint that will be yeah, unfettered bullishness <laughs> will come into the market and there's a lot of room for it to go up without any resistance. Now this is a daily chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and you can see with this long-term picture here we've got this ascending triangle shape higher lows in place. This one has been lagging. The Nasdaq which has been leading the S&P has turned strong and now I think that we're on the cusp of something big happening in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So you can see here that this level here above 34,000 let's say 34,250 area has been rebuffed, rebuffed, rebuffed a number of times but every time it goes down it holds at a higher level. The bulls are getting putting in more pressure on the market and it's uh, it's looking quite strong with the MACD positive here on the daily chart and the RSI making a new high. Let's home in a little bit on this area here but you can see the implication of a breakout here could be a retest of this high at 35,500 and then the high at 37 up here. This would release a lot of energy on the upside and ascending triangle classically you count from the low here 29,000 up to 34,000 here that would be a 5,000 so up to 37,000, 38,000 but that's 
to the high or even slightly beyond. That's the classic minimum price objective from an ascending triangle. So this could be the break that gives us a swing to new highs for this market. We've got that series of highs. The line here should be fat. You know, it's difficult to know exactly where it is, but we're definitely close to it. We're coming up to it with a lot of power here. And so the triangle is, the horizontal side of the triangle, ascending triangle is under threat. It's got power. Any sort of relief for today, and if we get even if we get the news that we were expecting, I think there's a lot of energy on the upside here that could take us through that horizontal line. If it does, it will release a lot of energy in the market. And I think this could be the beginning of a catch up by the Dow Jones Industrial Average, not only on an absolute term, but on a relative term where it's been lagging so much behind the NASDAQ. So the key level is around 34,300, around that level there, because we've got those long term highs there. But we've got a lot of power. You see the MACD here is pushing forward, gap is widening powerfully, the RSI making a new high here. So it's got a lot of momentum on the upside at this point. If we get news which disappoints the market. We got a, We have got a gap here. The gap is from 34,100 to 34,062. Small gap in there, and filling that gap would infer a pullback to the next support level, which is these two highs here, 33,800, and the whole situation and the whole idea that this is the attempt of a breakout would be null and void if we break through 33,400. So that we're approaching significant resistance point that can release a lot of energy on the upside and it could of course be yet another point on it and we just drift down and then we come inside the triangle. That'd be very disappointing for the market. So we're at a very important point with potentially ex explosive news. This is going to decide whether we break out or whether we fail. We'll probably know that by the end of tomorrow, what, what happened there. But if we could break out, I think it's very exciting for this. And as I said, I'll just repeat that this market, which has been lagging, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, could be play a game of catch up and could offer the most potential as it swings around with the bullish Nasdaq but on a relative basis improves substantially. Now here is a daily chart of the and this is a different picture isn't it completely from what we had the, the we've been looking at with the Nasdaq and the S&P and the Dow. Bull markets but here not a bull market at all it's looking very weak series of lower highs in place and drifting even currently and here you can see easily on the 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 RG lines for versus the S&P, the relative weakness of this is a vulnerable market to weak, weakening further. So let's go closer, look closer at it. Drifting pattern we see here, we've got near term support at 7,548, 7,550. Then below that, if that gives way, if the drifting continues and that gives way, then the next support, crucial support, is the 7,440 to avoid retesting these lows in here at 7,300. On the top side, we've got resistance at, at 7,650 level then here from these lows in here and this the bottom of this consolidation range at 7,700 extending the consolidation range extending up to 7,792. We've got a neutral message from the MACD. The RSI is at 50 in the middle of its 50% right in the middle of its zone and so it's showing neutral. The MACD is neutral. The the RSI is neutral. We're in a little bit of a consolidation range. We've got a consolidation range above. We've got the lower highs pattern. It looks as though it's consolidating, but the threat is really to the downside. The support here really at 77,540 is relatively light. And so the, the threat is really for a retest of this 7,446. It's a really different looking chart from those US indices. It looks as though it's going to continue to underperform and, and best stabilize, but at worst, it may drift further. I'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see how events unfold after the Fed announcement. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be back to you soon. The next updates will be from Julius on our weekly RG updates. And 
Thank you from us both, Julius de Campanar and myself, directors of RRG Research, and may the trend be with you. Goodbye.